Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and we have some more marathon news. A lot of things are being hinted at in the Destiny 2 game files. A lot of content creators have been out at Bungie playtesting marathon some multiple times in the past year. Game Post actually posted an article saying that they believe the pre-orders, yes, pre-orders, will go live in February 2025. Before we get into that, if you want to stay up to date with Marathon and all the news and rumors and leaks and blah, 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 make sure you sub to the channel. We're trying to hit 15,000 subs. If we hit it by the end of the year, I will go streaking at the Super Bowl. Now, as we all know, Bungie revealed Marathon in 2023 and has basically been radio silent going through a ton of ups and downs, mostly downs in terms of PR and leadership changes, things of that nature. We've covered that on the channel before, but no gameplay reveal, no real news. All of this silence has led to rampant speculation. But apparently data miners have found some hints about the marathon pre-order in Destiny 2 game files, and it says pre-order because we've already covered that marathon might be a $40 game, and it will not be free to play. Why would you pre-order a free to play game? I don't know. But it has to do with the version of the game and it's version 8.2.0 Entitlements D2 Marathon Pre-Order. Destiny is currently on version 8.1.0 and it would go to 8.2.0, which would drop in February 2025. Now, what does that mean? Maybe you'll get like a in-game reward for Destiny if you pre-order Marathon or maybe vice versa. Maybe you get like some kind of armor in Marathon that looks like Destiny. It does seem like there will be a Festival of the Lost Marathon-esque helmet called the Runner Mask this year. So that's also something. Now there was the Halo World Championships the previous weekend and there were a lot of Halo content creators out and around Seattle. And it looks like a lot of them actually got to go to Bungie and play test Marathon and give feedback on the game. That includes Hidden Xperia, Active, and then there were some more other content creators from Tarkov and Destiny. It's October, so that's only a couple of months away from February. If the game was in fact released in 2025, I would hope that they would start marketing it and start showing us stuff. I would assume that we would also see some type of trailer or gameplay reveal before the pre-order goes live. I can't imagine that they would just put the pre-order up without any gameplay or incentive for people to actually want to do it. But yeah, let me know your opinions in the comments down below. I love reading them. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit like, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.